above, it looks like. Afflicted! You know, you'd think someone would actually do something about that one of these days. Yeah, you would, but... You hanging in there, by the way? Yeah, I'm keeping up just fine. Frankly grateful for the fog. Cloud cover, whatever. Everything. Right, you don't seem to be uh, having any... <laughs> uh, what, what, what's the word when the... when... for fire doing fire things? Ah, uh, I don't know. There, there are many. Combustion is one of them. No, like, like, like when you set fire to do stuff. I don't know. If I'm, I'm talking out my ear here. Spiders. Yes, a spider. What the? Your brainless existence is at an end. Can you shout? Is that what that was? Oh, yep. Uh. By the way, everyone, Kin was not the only one who can shout. It's it's. I'm not dragonborn, in case anyone's wondering. I'm just very good with words. Hey, that makes sense. Sort of. That was weird. What did you do to them? It just, you know, splattered their insides a little. Eww. Of all the ways you could have phrased it. I do have a way with words. Oh, gods, I forgot there's a fort up here. Great! Well, I guess we're going through. Hold on to your butts, everyone. Oh boy. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to hurt you. Oh, sorry. Hey, just watch your back, eh? Here we go. Careful not to hit my granddaughter, would you? Sorry. I could take you blindfolded. To be fair, Grad, I am kind of fire resistant. Don't worry, there will be more. I don't I don't like the way you said that, didn't go? Are we good? I think we're good. I think we've indeed taken the fort, kind of. This is not how I expected my day to go. All right, everyone, catch up. Keep your eyes open. Yeah, I think so. I think Zaytest might be stuck behind a horse, though. <laughs> Ah, uh, that while she's looting bodies. I've noticed she uh, tends to do that a little bit. <sighs> Oosh. Did we come out the right way? My nuts. Oh, we definitely did. Oh, Arden, do you need to... Uh... Yeah, give me a second. Alright. Giving you a second. Uh, well, that'll work. Alright, good enough. As long as you don't start melting or whatever it is vampires tend to do. Oh, you know, melt steam. Get generally crispy around the edges. Was the word you were looking for pyrotechnics by chance? Aye, that's the one. Do we have? We do. Let's get this over with. Need 
not stand a chance. There you go. Decided not to try to shout on that time. Give Inigo a chance. He seems to be rather fond of squishing spiders. Mm-hmm. Squishy spider. Squishy spider. Ba -da -da -da. Ba. <laughs> you know, Caitlin has told me about your proclivity for <laughs> random song. Mm -hmm. I think he finds it a little bit annoying, but. Oh, what the heck is that? Uh, what? Uh, oh. That over there would be the Hall of the Vigilance. Uh, that got burned down quite a while ago, actually. We've got friends. What are you yelling about? Oof, giants. Are you the one yelling? Who knows? Uh, let's just get out of here before those giants get angry. Right, we're trying to head toward Morthal. Uh, right, give me a second. I'm going to adjust the weather again. I don't think it really worked. All right. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say you do that. I'll figure out where we're supposed to be going. I figured out where we're supposed to be going. Nicely done. Hey, how do you do that? Even. Uh, well, first you have to be able to read the weather, which sounds sort of bizarre. Uh, I, I don't really know how to explain it without getting into the really technical fiddly bits of magical theory and the history of alteration and all that. This one did not know that there was such thing as a uh, magical theory. I... I think... I think that may be a wee bit over my head. Yeah, it's over most people's heads. I think. So far as I've been able to ascertain. I think the sun is starting to go down, which is good. We won't have to keep stopping for you to adjust the fog. <laughs> At least I hope. Yeah, it'd be real nice to not be running directly into the light and having it reflect off of all the snow and the clouds and the fog and everything. Well, I may not be burning, I am rather blinded right at the moment. That's better. I like shade. Shade is nice. Have we lost our way? Uh, not yet. I'm just trying to find a place to turn in here, I guess. Everyone keeping up? Everyone's keeping up? Good. Hello, wolves. As long as it's not saber cats. <laughs> really? You're not even- Don't, don't, don't. I don't think they'd attack you, would they? Hopefully not. I haven't had any wayward encounters with wolves yet. There we go. Hey, friend. Don't worry, the Imperial's with us. Why, well, thank you for announcing my... Uh... Yeah, I should probably just keep my mouth closed because the accent will give me away if nothing else. Mm-hmm. 
Hey, you might want to do something about your eyes, by the way. Oh, are, are they showing through my... Give me a minute. Okay. Right. And here we are. It's Galmar home. Galmar is indeed home. Hey there. The Empire is weak. That is why we fight them. Skyrim must be ruled by the strong. Right. What are your reasons for joining this war, Galmar? I know you and Alfred are kind of friends, but just so I know what we're in for here. Reasons? Since when does a man need a reason to protect his family, to defend his homeland? It's the damn Outlanders and Empire that need the reasons. Hasn't Skyrim always been part of the Empire? Well, sort of. Not this Empire. The world's better without it. Certainly Skyrim is. I fought in the Imperial Army in the war against the Dominion. I bled and spilled blood for the Empire. And for what? The Empire to bend its knee before those evil elf bastards? Signing a treaty meant to kill the heart of the Empire itself? To deny Talos? No. I will have no part of any such Empire. And I will gladly gut anyone who says otherwise. Enough talk. There's much to do. Yeah. You, uh... You heard all that? I did. Yes, I did. Uh, well, I'm... I'm just here to... You know... Advise. So, <laughs> go tell the commander. Right. I'm sure the boot in your arse will take your mind off your troubles. Sometimes I wonder if Ulfric understands what I'm dealing with out here. Yeah, I. Sometimes I wonder that too, considering how poorly armed the last few or poorly. He doesn't. He doesn't send enough men. But reporting for duty. Need you to deliver some false orders to the Imperial Legate in Morthal. But first, we need to get our hands on some Imperial orders to make the forgeries. The inns at Dragonbridge and Rorikstead are frequent stops for Imperial runners. See if you can't convince one of those innkeepers to help you. One way or another, get me those documents. What do you say? Uh, I'm sure we'll think of something. That's what I wanted to hear. Good luck out there. Thanks. So, <laughs> uh, going behind Imperial lines. Hang on. No, don't, don't look at me like that. I'm just here to be an advisor. I just told you that. I'm not. Uh, you want me to sneak in? Hmm. You know that's not a bad idea. Have him go in dressed like an imperial, since he, uh, you know, can pull that off. And then have him bring the orders back to you, or to us rather, so that. He doesn't have to deal with Gardner. Yeah, the less I have to deal with him, the better. All right, come, let's gather in and make a plan. That means you, Indigo. Yeah, he does his own thing. So, what do you think? We did just clear out that fort full of. Well, Imperials. Legionnaires. Think you could go find some of that armor and make it work? Uh, I would rather not, but... I suppose, if that's... If that's the best way to do it. 
Yeah, I'm not sure any of the rest of us could pull it off. Maybe Mordgut could. Uh, maybe. Hi, but he said Dragon Bridge and Rorikstead, and I don't really fancy going to at least one of those places. So he'll probably be better for this job. Hope I don't draw guard duty. You must be all right if you've got time to complain. All right. All right. I will see what I can do. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Uh, what? Uh, have you got the right person? Hmm. Uh, what? Oh, that's old. Uh, oh, right. Forgot I was carrying those. Oh, notice of festivities. Due to increasing levels of violence between the Stormcloaks and Imperials, the Yarls of Skyrim have called to... Right. Never mind. Oh, let me... Be able to see real quick. I suppose I should probably work on my impression of my... of my father. And maybe... I should have picked up a different sword. And found a way to cover the tattoos. Okay, there's a conflict I don't want any part of. Okay. Gonna have to avoid Stormcloak patrols in this getup. Labyrinthian, I'm on my way. On my way alone in the cold in armor I'd never thought I'd ever wear, frankly. And here I am, wearing it anyway. Thank you, Jan Vida, for this incredibly dangerous idea. Hello. You don't have any friends lingering around, do you? What a time to not have it gonna go around. There's an alternate timeline somewhere. You better come with us right now. I don't know who you think I am and I don't care. Leave me alone. In which I would I don't have time for this be wearing business. this armor no, for real? We there we are. You know, I kind of just want to let them get there. Hoi! Hello! Sorry. Oh, but careful, rather. <laughs> You're this. Uh, right. I'm probably supposed to. Sorry, sir. You confused me for a second. 
Right. Things I need to practice saying. Sir! Which I don't really need to practice, and... Uh, what a time to not remember any of the forms of address. Good job. Good job indeed. Uh, okay. How many rides can I remember off the top of my head? Proof it. Quester. That's about it. Leggett. General, obviously. Crap. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter how much... Uh, or how could my... I'm staying out. Well... I'm gonna stay out of that mess. Doesn't matter how good my mask is. People will be able to still see my fangs because I'm an idiot and haven't... Why am I... <sighs> oh, good! <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Hello. Sorry. Just need to do a bit of extraction. And then I'll be on my way. Thanks. It helped a little. Thank you, sir, and thank you... Oh, okay. Thank you, Ingrath, for teaching me how to do that. Do kind of feel like I'm losing my mind, though. A dog. Okay. Let's not get involved with dogs, we know how, uh... I tend to be bad luck for them. Or they tend to be bad luck for me in the case of barbers. And who is this, pray tell? A thief, probably. Definitely. Alright, hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. If you say so. I kind of don't have time for this, so if you don't want to get stabbed in the gut, I would recommend you walk away. Nice try, but you don't scare me. I'm not gonna ask again. Eh, uh, right. Don't you walk away from me! You know, I should've just gone for the sword first. On the other hand... Thank you. For your refusal to cooperate. I suppose. I should probably... do that. Oh, he really was not kidding about the Thalmor. That is who that is, right? Yep. Okay, going around. I'm glad I dodged that particular arrow. Because they would absolutely recognize the tattoos, I'm pretty sure. And that's not something that I want, necessarily. Although, them seeing me in this armor might convince them that I'm a turncoat, and... 
therefore possibly unlink me, in their minds anyway, with the Stormcloaks, who I'm not sure they've linked me with anyway. I don't... I don't know what I'm talking about. Hmm, that reminds me, this reminds me, I wonder how incredibly pissed Meridia is at me in general. Oh boy. And here's the test. Hey. <clears throat> Damn it. Yeah, let's just sound incredibly nervous, shall we? That's smart. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. And naked nords? <clears throat> right. Okay. Hello. Fade is the name. I keep the inn. Uh, hello, Fada. Um, here's a question. Seen any Imperial couriers lately? I tend to keep my patrons' privacy. I understand, but his life might be in danger. It is? Well, that's different. He was here, but he left. If you leave now, you can probably catch him. Or you can just wait here. He'll be back soon enough. Right. Thank you very much, and thank you for cooperating, Miss Fader. Mm, yeah, mm-hmm. I can't believe that worked. Okay. <laughs> now I need to be able to see again. Oh, I'm not sure why that made me so nervous. Probably because it's a felony to impersonate an Imperial officer. But you know what? Here we are. He just left. Where would he be leaving to? Probably this... Uh, if he's a courier, he's probably headed to the front lines, which are, in this case, either Markarth or... Hang on. Hello? Can't stop to chat, citizen. Um, I'm not actually here to chat. I'm, I'm, I'm here for the documents you're carrying. You've been reassigned. Is that so? Burn it. Burn the well, all right. No! Uh, sorry, madam, but uh, I'm just going to get you off the road here quick. No one saw that. No one saw that at all. Okay. Uh... That'll work. And now let's get out of here before anything else happens. Like those sound will find me. Okay. Should probably also get back into my old armor before meeting Gamma again, because that actually let's do that now. Since I have an opportunity and there's no one on this road. And I can just change. Uh, probably. What do you think is taking him so long? Ah, I don't know, he's <laughs> not- Tiger Septim. <laughs> that is a good one. Hope I don't draw guard you. And I'm back. You must be all right there you are, we were just wondering complain. where you were. She was just wondering what was taking you so long. Uh, hopefully it didn't take me that long. Some documents. As requested. Okay. Uh, you stay here so you don't have to deal with Galamar. Sounds good. And don't worry, I did in fact disguise myself. I just didn't feel like wearing it back here since, you know, storm cloaks. I understand completely. 
Is this a test? <laughs> hey, looks like she's kind of getting involved, eh? I suppose so. And Inigo is asleep. He was just making a joke about Tiger Septum. Talos guide you. Hey, Galmar. Here you go. Good work. Let's see what you got. Mm. They know more of our plans than I thought. Not good. Oh, what's this? Fort Snowhawk is in need of reinforcements. We'll make sure they won't be getting those. Give me a moment while I make a few, um, corrections to these reports. There we go. Make sure those forged documents get to the Legate in Morthal. They should give them the wrong idea, and us the advantage. Uh, did you say take it to the Legate in Morthal? <laughs> Sounds like it's a good thing. Watch you yourself out there. Will do. To complain. Are you spying on me? Well, I mean, I'm supposed to know what's going on here too. I figure if they test is, you know, doing stuff, I should probably figure out how all of this works. True. Galmar makes sure she doesn't get into trouble. I mean, I'm not going anywhere, but. What do you mean you're not going anywhere? I bet anywhere? we have rabbit again. I'm getting I mean, sick of rabbit. You'd rather be plowing the field? Um. Not me. I don't like that look on your face. I mean, it's a good thing you still have that armor, I hope. Yeah, I didn't exactly get a chance to drop it anywhere. Well, good, because these need to get to the Legate and Morthal. Oh, I good. We have rabbit again. All right. I'm getting sick of well, rabbit. I'll head off again then. You must be all right if you've got time to complain. Well, at least Morthal is nearby. Now the question becomes, how many spiders, and possibly Taurus, am I going to have to deal with on the way? Hopefully not many. I would like to go around the swamp, thank you! Is that? I wonder. Now is not the time to be distracted by old ruins. And I'm going to distract myself with old ruins anyway because I'm kind of an idiot. Or at least. Oh, come on. Easily distracted by things? I have no idea what this place is. Okay, sun is sort of rising, time is sort of of the essence. I can make the fog do fog things, but still. Where... is Morthal? Hello? Spiders! Okay, that'll do. It smells like many things in this swamp, and none of them are pleasant. It's the distinct and unique odour of decaying plant matter and possibly rotting animals. Nice. Hello? Uh... Maybe I'm just hearing things, or being jumpy. Probably just being jumpy. Hello? Oh, there's a skeleton somewhere. In here. Underneath me, probably. Oh, 
that's not where I wanted to put that. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to ignore the skeleton and move on. I found the road! Okay, and I found Northall. Thank you, skeleton. Kind of, I need to do this. So that any said leg in Morval does not get any weird ideas about my face. Which sounds weird. What's the Yarl going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please, enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. The wall seems to be affecting pretty much everywhere. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Finally, someone comes in. Kick off your boots, stay a while. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. I got nothing but time these days. Uh, sorry, ma'am, I'm on business. Uh, Legget? That spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. Not the Legget. Until next right. time. Uh, do you know where I might be able to find the Legget? I seem to have... We seem to have had a communications breakdown. And by communications breakdown, I mean... I just don't have a clue where I might find him. Or her, I suppose. Lovely. So... Now what? <coughs> I can either try to find the Lakit and wake him up. Or... Wait until morning? Bad idea. I think wait until morning. It will take longer. But on the other hand, time means nothing to a man who can summon fog. So, seems to be plenty weird going on in this town that that won't be noticed. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. <laughs> hey. Welcome to the Moor side. If you need anything, I'll be around. Good to have a customer. Right. Uh, if I could rent a room, please? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thanks. I don't expect I'll be here a whole day, but... I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Some sleep would be good. <coughs> Let me know if there's anything else you need. Thanks. Uh, I'll, I'll... I'm good. I don't sound like a legionnaire at all. I might look like one, but I do not sound like one. <laughs> oh well. Uh, this might be bad. I'm gonna need to find somewhere to recast this thing and expeditiously. Pardon me. Huh? Do you like magic? Valian says I'm good at learning. I like learning about magic. Ah, uh, I am actually, but I'm also kind of running late. Uh -huh. Sun is bright. Oh, 
Hello? That spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. Actually, it's just a regular protection spell. Uh, is the legate in? I'll take my leave then. Uh, Alright, I'll take that as a yes. And indeed he is. Legate? That spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. Uh, it's actually... Will do, sir. And I have important documents for you. Thank you, soldier. Let's take a look at these reports. I'm waiting on word about reinforcements for the fort. Good. They're on their way. And we have some information on enemy troop movements. Excellent. Stormcloak scouts are making it difficult to move around. It's good you made it here in one piece. Why don't you have yourself a drink at the moor side before you head back? Of course, sir. Uh, I'll be on my way. All right, then. Probably not a good idea to get too comfortable in this armor. Catching a glimpse of a life that I've never lived. And probably, undoubtedly, never will. That's kind of... I'm not sure if depressing is the word. Maybe that's exactly the word. Anyway. Let's not keep them waiting. <laughs> Hope I don't draw guard you. You'd rather be plowing a field. There he is. Not me. Well, you look wide awake and bushy tailed as they say haha ha, very funny <laughs> so document where delivered documents delivered all's well surprisingly the legate You're there said that Imper imperial stormcloak scouts were making it difficult to move around and You're i'm kind of wondering if he meant you not us? Well, I haven't exactly been part of this whole thing yet, have I? Well, you have now. I would say warm up, but... Hello! Oh, he's back! Uh, welcome back! Thanks, I think I'll let you just go report in and... It's so cold. Good morning, Inigo! And the Galmar? Our spy friend there has turned in the documents as requested. Good job. Ufric was right about you. I'm glad to have you with us. I'm glad Ulfric convinced you that we were worthwhile. Or that I was worthwhile. I don't know which. Anyway, what's next? You're going to Fort Snowhawk. Meet the brothers preparing for the attack. Then join them in wiping out the Imperials. Once you prevail, we will garrison the fort. What do you say? Can you do this? As long as we get a few minutes to wake up first. Good. You've got real fire in you. I like that. Talos guide you. Actually, Gran, I think we're all waking up. Or woken up, rather. I suppose all that's left now is, uh... Go attack a fort, hey? I suppose so. One lives for the things he is willing to die for. Indeed. Everyone ready? I think so. Although I don't know about the... Are you going to stay here? Actually... I can't believe I'm saying this, but... I'm gonna come with you, and I'm actually going to fight. If this excursion has taught me anything, it's that I'm 
in no way, shape, or form cut out to be an Imperial soldier. So... I admire your... I don't know what. Your willingness to see this through, I suppose. Yeah, and I figure if I'm going to be around the rest of you, I probably should prove it to the others that I'm not, actually, an Imperial spy. In case they're worried about that. Out of I hope the supplies right. get here soon. You must now, be right if you've got time to complain. In they go. Yeah, he's probably off taking a piss somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everyone wake up, get supplies, get moving. We'll attack once everyone's ready. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> 